Hi, my name is Mohini. I'm a developer evangelist at here. I'll demonstrate how to access the here probe data, process it and visualize it. Here I'm considering that you have a here platform account and that you have requested your custom here probe data for the location and time span you need. This data should be available in your organization's here platform account. In my here platform account, I'll access data. This shows all my available catalogs. I'll search for the one called probe data. This is my here probe data catalog. Let's copy the catalog HRN that we'll need shortly. Within the catalog is the probe data layer. This layer is in protobuf or protocol buffers format. We'll copy the layer ID by using it in command line as well. Protobuf files come with a schema. The schema is essentially a formal definition that specifies the structure of the probe data and is useful for serializing and deserializing the data. We'll download the schema. The schema is defined as a dot proto file that you'll see here. Next, from the launcher, I'll select Access Manager. I have a group for probe access. It's better to give access for the data to a group rather than individual accounts. Under Apps, we'll create an app for probe data. I already have one created here. Going back to the probe access group, I'll make sure the app is part of the group. If you just created a new app, you can add it from Add to Group. Look for your app and add it here. In the app, we'll get the OAuth credentials that we'll need to provide in command line. This downloads the credentials.properties file. This is everything you need from the here platform account. Now we'll download the here probe data using OLP command line interface. The OLP CLI or command line interface allows you to access platform services from the command line. We have good documentation for installing OLP CLI and configuring it with your platform credentials. I already have this set up here. I've added the credentials.properties file to the folder that I'll use for data download. Opening command line here, I'll import the credentials and create a new profile called probe data profile that will have this app's credentials. Next step, let's verify if we're able to get a token. A token is successfully returned. Now we're ready to download the probe data using the catalog HRN and layer ID we saved to our clipboard in the earlier steps. After a few minutes, a folder is created with protobuf files. In the next step, we'll convert all the protobuf files into CSV using a simple Python script. The output is a folder that's csv based This data has latitude and longitude values that we can use for mapping. I've chosen to visualize this data in ArcGIS Pro. This is one of the probe data CSV files. I can open the context menu and create a layer using these latitude and longitude values. As I have several of these CSVs, I've automated this step using Python and created feature classes for each of these CSV files. Our dataset is two days worth of probes for Paris. This is huge to process. So we focused on the city center within the inner ring of the city, also known as La Periferique. We merged all these feature classes and cropped it for the city center. What you're looking at is 11 million probe points for the duration of two days. Next, we visualize this data as a heat map. To see the movement patterns, we made this layer time-enabled. 
To add more context to our findings, we started adding POIs to contextualize why the clusters are happening, where they are happening. We have some landmarks and major train stations. Now it makes more sense that some of the most visited locations, like Arc de Triomphe or some big shopping areas, have more pro points. Many people live in the suburbs and go to work in another district using the periphery. So another finding, rather a confirmation, is that at peak hours, when people go in and out of work, some of the hotspots seem to be around connections to other highways, such as this one connecting to A3 or this one to A4. If you recall the fields in the CSV, we also have the heading and speed data. So we tried another way to visualize this. This map shows the detection of travel and the associated speed. This layer is time enabled as well, so you can get better insights about the mobility patterns. Thank you.